Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. I am your host, Melee Wizard. And as you can see, I got the Golden Frog, and I got all four of the treasures. Thankfully with my scout salvaging arm unscathed. But... I might as well show you what I got for my efforts with digging. They were all they all ended up being ship parts, but you know. Uh the first one was the was the fear cannon. The second one was an anchor. Was the iron anchor. Interesting. Uh third one was a handrail which apparently I already had one of and the fourth one was a chimney parasol chimney all right also along the way uh beetle here was after after a certain point he was in masked form or, and uh, he had different stuff for sale. Particularly, he had a Courage Gem for 500, which I ended up buying. And he also had a Heart Container worth 1,500, which I could not afford. Uh, and I also ran afoul of Janine while heading down this way. And I got another 200. And also before that, I took another spin on here and I got another two to 300 rupee profit. All right then, moving on. Uh, might as well show off the... There. That is the symbol for the gold, the frog warp spot. Make things just a little bit faster. Uh, I don't know what else there is here. And I physically cannot select that particular uh, dock. Interesting. Uh, where are you? Oh. I keep forgetting that you guys are a thing that exists. There we go. Yes, thank you. I did not notice where you were going after, uh, as I was, while well, I was dealing with the other enemies. Ho ho! Why can I not find them? Why not indeed? Ho ho! How very strange. All of a sudden, I can't see a thing. Ho ho! Hmm hmm. How terribly rude of me. I am a member of the Ho Ho tribe. Yes, indeed. Uh, what is up with your eye that I can barely see? I came from the country of way away across the ocean looking for treasure. Certain items are treasure to the people of way away, and I'll buy them from you. I'll buy them for far more than any of the general stores around here, too. Cool. Treasure hunting is much harder than it looks. Oh, yes, indeed. That thing? Things like that are truly hard to find with the naked eye. Hmm. Oop. Wrong one. Oh, jeez. 
For that much? Sure. Dang. Well, that was certainly a big windfall there. Uh... out of here. Hey, what's the deal with all this ice? We can't dock. But I'm having one of my brilliant ideas. No, really. Do you see it already? Chart a course around the icy isle. We'll obliterate it all with the cannon. have to keep firing at them. Okay. I wonder what's up with these... Ah! The pink ones appear to... drop the big money. These things are just going to be constantly in the way, huh? At least I... It gives me the option to... Stop. Okay, these things are just going to be constantly in the way, huh? Twenty ones are definitely worth firing at. There we go. All right, we blasted all that ice and sent it sinking into the sea. Hey, I wonder what kind of bizarre creatures are waiting to welcome us. Or will they lash out at us? Either way, let's go there! Isle of Frost. So all those enemies serve to do is just delay me and give me money. Alright, I see another temple. Well, kid. I was wondering what it'd be like walking on a big ice chunk. And now I know. It's real frosty. Unique individuals here. And it appears we have mail. 
As cold as, as cold as it is, it warms my treasure-seeking heart. You, guy, you came from out there, outside the ice. Hey, what's your deal? Never seen an Enoki before. You gonna stare all day at us, or can you talk too? What? You wanna know where the pure metals are? How should I know? You gotta take the question like a uh, question like that to the island chief. Me? No idea. Am I gonna get quizzed again? The island chief lives in a house on the hill to the northeast. The home of a somewhat smart Tanoki. Somewhat smart? Nobody thought the trouble between the Anoki and Yuke was a good thing. And we Anoki and those hairy Yuke got together 100 years ago and entered into a little peace agreement. Was it fair? Yeah, it was fair. Yeah. Okay. The Yuke tribe that lives over in the ice fields to the east are crazed animals. Those beasts are so crazy, I don't even want to get into it. That crazy. Fair enough. The home of a more or less sensitive Anoki. So, do these people not have names? They're just, they're just descriptions. You guy, did you hear the big news? One of those hairy Yuke has sneaked over here. What do you mean? Uh, okay. And I see treasure and taunting me with my lack of hookshot. Huh? A pure, the pure metal? Azarine? What are you doing asking me something important about something important like that? Uh, alright then. I did not... Realize that they'll see the other path over here, or at least. Aha. Uh -huh. You guy, listen, I want to keep this between you and me. I've been dealing with a bit of a dilemma, if you know what I mean. I haven't had to deal with something like this in, like, a decade. Oh, you want to know what happened? I can't go telling you that. Do these lips look like they blab? You're going to have to ask the island chief. Fair enough. All right. What you got for me? This letter from Gongoron. Okay. My brother Goro M. Wizard. How are you doing? I have decided to work part-time on a southeastern sea isle. I will be the one rolled up in a ball and making a spectacle of myself. So the only other island I know about was the digging, digging game. Makes me wonder what bit what what he's doing over there. Especially since the, you know I'm pretty sure the mailbox wasn't active when I was last there. But yeah. you know, here's an idea. Instead of asking me, go read the signs they got around here. Well, how do we keep feet from freezing in a place like this? Oh, come on, guy. Toughen up and pack a little blubber on you. Hehe. <laughs> I did too. Uh, okay. Thought maybe there'd be something there, but I guess not. Island Chief. What you got to say? You guy, I am the island chief of the Anoki. You got a name, green guy? What you say? M. Wizardapo. So, M. Wizardapo, my tribe's been having this trouble lately. I thought maybe you'd take care of it for us. Uh, what's that you say? You're saying your name is actually M. Wizard? You sure about that guy? All right, all right, whatever you say. Anyway, you want to know about the Azarine, right? I scratch your fur, you scratch mine. Well, this might take a bit long, so make yourself real comfortable. 
We and Oki have got one enemy on this island. They're the Yuk. There was a lot of bad blood between our ancestors. So 100 years ago, we made an agreement. The Yanoki live in the west, and those hairy Yuk live over in the east on the great ice field. That was the deal, but now some tricky Yuk has snuck over here. And he's taken one of my villagers! Now he's pretending to be him and living with us, all comfortable-like. And now we come to the part where I need something from you. Find the Yuk who's impersonating a villager and kick him out! Did you get all that? Do I have to repeat myself? Yep, I'm... Yeah, alright. Go to the Anoki Estates up north. When you get there, you gotta figure out which guy is actually the Yuk. Yuks are liars, every one of them. This, so this one will lie to you, so don't be gullible. Maybe if you find him, I might tell you where the Azarine is. Just saying. Alright. I mean, if he's not telling the truth, maybe he is the Yuke. We, Anoki, and the Yuke have been rivals for I don't know how long. I gotta be honest, I don't even know how it all started. There's a whole pack of nasty Yuke roaming around the Great Ice Field. What? How are they nasty? Oh, guy, do you do not want to know. I kind of do want to know. I want to know what I'm getting myself into. Why? What do you mean, why? Use your head. This cave goes to the great ice field. <laughs> what? You hate pegs? They do something to you. Oh. Okay. I did the thing. I see that and I have to give you some. Oh! Well, thank you. Hey, at least I didn't make a fool out of myself for nothing. I notice uh, there's been a, altogether a lack of a shop so far. Might as well. The thing was ours once, but then we got in a big spat with the Yuke in the East and he got nabbed. That was like ages and ages ago. Grandpa used to rant all about it when we sat around the stew pot. I don't think I ever talked to you either. You gotta ask important people about important things. Well, now that I've talked to the, uh... I wonder if you guys have more information for me. Or not. It's a woolly world we live in, guy. Woolly and hairy and wild. Daydream for a second and they might get ya. Poof, you're gone. Just like that. Alright. Alright, so we got to find ourselves an imposter. Can't do anything about that. Let's see. Dabo's house. Oh, these guys actually have names. They call me Dabo. You're looking for the Yuk who's impersonating one of us, right? There's one easy way to tell you no. The Yuk are liars. And Mazo's honest. The guy never lies. Okay, I am going to start making notes. Uh...
Mazo never lies. So this is going to be one big logic puzzle. This is Kumu. Let's see what you were, Dobo. This is Kumu. Got to get everybody's story so I can find the hole. And yeah, the Yuke you're looking for is a liar, no doubt about it. I'd say either Mazo or Aru is lying to you. Okay. I'm Hintobo. I hear things. I know people. And I heard you're looking for the liar. I can give you a hint, but it's not going to come cheap. Uh, no. I'm good. Let's see. Fofo. Yeah, my name's Fofo. You heard that right. I'm sure you know this, but the Yuke, they do nothing but lie. And Gumo never lies. Gumo never lies. Okay. Just saying. And you can't do anything there. Is there anything up here? Oh. Hello. Boing oing, draw a line between here and the island chief's house. Someone buried something in the middle. But who knows if it's still there. Draw a heap between here. Might be a little off, but... So it's not in this corner, so it's got to be in the next screen down. I'll worry about that later. Uh, Mazo. So I've already got a, some conflicting information regarding you. Yeah, they call me Mazo. I don't care if you believe me or not, but Dobo only, tell, Dobo only tells the truth. Hmm. So, I think that might clear both of them. Because they both, they both say that the other never lie. So, I, I want to say that clears the both of them. There's Aru... My name is Aru. Between you and me, Kumu is lying. Hmm. Okay. And... Gumo. My name is Gumo. Either Fofo or Aru has got to be lying to you. Okay. So, based off of the information I'm getting, 
My first instinct says it's Aru is the liar. Oh. I... Ha ha! Nice. That then. All right, so going over the information. Let's see. Dobo says Mazo never lies. Kumu says Mazo or Haru is the liar. The fact that both Mazo. And do and do uh, uh but do Dobo and Mazo both say that the other never lie. So I think that clears the both of them. So both Gumu, uh, Gumo and Kumu are pointing, to, or at least somewhat pointing towards Aru. And yeah, I think, I think all the information is pointing there. Let's see if my train of logic is correct. Oh, do I got to keep talking to him? Or is this now the time when I start making my accusations? Don't think about what you're doing. Don't be stupid. Ha ha! And I thought I had an amazing costume. You're a Yuk? You look so innocent. You look just like Aru. We've never seen the actual Aru, so how would we know? Don't do anything stupid and try to fight. Turn yourself in. Be quiet. If you yell anymore with that squeaky voice, it drives me wild! Oh, hello. <laughs> not, not, not tasty? I taste awful! I'm, I'm yellow, but I don't taste anything like a delicious fruit. Whoa. Uh, of course not. Well, I could try and make a run for it. But I guess I might as well give in now that I've been caught. As a show of good faith, I'll show you something good. Wait right here. Don't move. And we got kicked out. What happened? That was crazy, wasn't it? We went to all the trouble finding the Yuke and he blew us away. But if we don't do anything, he'll just get away. It's not fair. Well, let's go talk to the island chief and tell him what happened. I'm guessing that he's not here anymore. Yeah, I didn't think so. But yay, I got it right on the first try. So now it's just a matter of where you went. Maybe back through, uh, maybe back to the eastern side. Hey, guy, I heard the story. What? Already? Mur tends to travel fast, I see. You did it. You scared that yuke right out of the village. 
Now the people can rest easy and sip on their savory stew in peace. But uh, don't you feel a little mad about getting blown away like that? Don't you want revenge on that on those yuke? Uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, of course we want to get revenge. <laughs> of course, nobody can resist a little revenge. I'm going to open up the cave to the great ice field to the east. The yuke are over there. Go get yourself all the revenge you can. The Azarine you're looking for should be in the Temple of Ice. All right, then. So, can you let me in now? Yes. I don't know why having antlers would prevent me from getting a cold, but okay. Do not erase. The uke's weakness is really simple. The uke breathe deeply. Inhale a mouth. Inhale. Mouth. Uh, throw. Most of the message has been wiped off. It's impossible to read. You're just going to tell me to throw a bomb down their throat, huh? All right, then. And I see some bomb flowers as well, so that'll make things simpler. Uh, but I don't know however, whatever hoops, other hoops I may have to jump through to get into the Ice Palace, so I'm going to end things off here. So, I guess, join me next time when we head into the Ice Palace, see what kind of shenanigans we get into on there, and I'm willing to bet that this fancy fire sword I have is not going to matter one bit. So, until then, this is Melee Wizard, and have a nice day.